Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. Uh, being able to know that my videos you are resonating with and being able to resonate with each other, knowing we all have a connection some kind of way, is truly a blessing. So with that being said, much love to all, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, um, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And even um, if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact, if how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, um, if you feel like the videos give you good vibes or good information, you would love to share with the family, loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really trying times right now and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or soul purpose, please go ahead and share. While you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today I'm listening to Prayer Music for Manifestation, Miracles, Pray to God for Healing, 417 Hertz, Release Trapped Emotions. And I will post that link in the description box below. And since I put this on, I feel very, like, zenful. <laughs> like, I wasn't already, like I wasn't already, but it just put me really in a calm place. So I really like that. And today, um, my video is about, uh, hey, Oka's, uh, uh Twin Flame 101, hey, Okas, uh, avoid feeding dreams and blessings around fear and doubt because it only prolongs the process of your blessings. And it truly does. I, trust me, I'm a witness to that. You know, it's just like, well, we can do things on a day-to-day -day basis and you know you have that one thing or probably one or more things like a thorn in your side. And it annoys the heck out of me when I start getting nervous about certain things and it's just like I really stay concentrated on stuff and it's not about my videos but it's just like my situation around me um it, it can be very doubtful at times it, it can be hard when you are so caught you know you so trying to be concentrated on that light at the end of the tunnel and you just constantly got chaos going around you and that's when you know you're on a brink brink of becoming into your blessings because it just seems like the little pettiness <laughs> really works your last nerve you're like oh it could be somebody that's starting to breathe or blink and you like if you got one more time to blink you even got one more time to just <sighs> you know you get tired of that <laughs> you're like ready to go but it's just like when we're going through things God and universe places us in those certain situations for us to be able to learn from whatever that lesson is trying to teach us and it's just like with my situation I've constantly had to learn to have faith within myself as well as the process and the universe. And I, you know, it's like I have faith in myself, but then it's like, you know, Lord, I get tired. You know, it's like there's always something that it has to test your sanity, test your, you know, your temperament, test your last daggone nerve. And I know y'all know what I'm talking about, but it's just like you have to be able to have that patience within yourself, not just because even if it's like a certain person. You know, um, that walks into the room and you know it's like they they did everything up and understand with you. You have to be still focused on the things that you are really trying to aim towards because it's just like uh, you never know. Ooh, excuse me, that if universe and God is like placing that person in your life just to see, you know, if they are still able to get you or get you, you know, to change your character, you know or you never know is like the devil devil know if you so close to something they will constantly pe throw people in your path for you not to be you know for you to draw yourself back and it's just like when you're so worried when certain situations pop off and you're like oh i can't wait till this happens because i'm so tired of dealing with stuff like that when you're when you're at it like that it's going to really prolong that situation. And it's just like, it'll leave you in that situation for far too long because you're still doing the same things that, you know, universe and them were really trying to teach you. Having faith within yourself to know that, you know, when people show you who you truly, they truly are, believe them. You know, and you can't get mad at them for being the way they are because they are truly showing you that this is the person they always been. 
or this situation what is this situation trying to teach you a lot of times like i have to tell myself when i back out of it when i'm in in my emotions about it like what are you doing okay what is this situation teaching you you already know you can change yourself and change how you respond to things and how you look at it you can't change whoever is just working your last nerve or is this, you have to really think when you're in a situation is this situation trying to i gotta change or is this situation trying to change me and that's what the big question is because usually if you have done everything you've done you have to really look at it like this situation is supposed to be changing me and it's supposed to be changing me for the better and that's why i had to look at my, my stuff and really look at it like self self said hmm this is supposed to change you and it's just like my situation you know i you know dealing with my my narcissism is around me <laughs> you know i'm trying not to even talk about it anymore because it's like i heard that today is when you keep talking about that same thing over again you trying to manifest everything around that and i'm just like you know what i'm letting go and letting god okay <laughs> that's what i'm doing letting go and letting god do that and it's just like you know there's so many things that you know keep coming towards you saying that you're about to end that emotional chapter in your life you've been seeing the signs you know if you've been checking your numbers and stuff like that you see things will flow differently but it's like it'll flow smoothly if you actually see it as that when you keep on looking for things to be mad about or things like that sometimes i see stuff that i know is going to create an argument because i i'm setting my ways when it comes to certain things especially my household i like my house to be clean I don't like cleaning it up after folks. I'm like, look, you know, there are certain things, but I said, you know what? Just pick this stuff up. Because half of the time, what do you, some people just do that just to work up under your nerve just because they know you like stuff clean. And it's just like you going through things and you really have to be focused. You know, don't allow, don't be trying to rush up out of a situation just because you don't like the scenery you're seeing. You have to see what is this scenery trying to teach you. And it was just like, dang, you know, now I'm starting to get it. Because it's just like, when I start taking myself back and looking from the outside in and trying to check all angles and all perspectives, you have to really see, there are some times you are being placed in a situation, not for you to actually change that situation, but for you to actually be changed by that situation. This situation that I've been in, especially when it has to do with, you know, a toxic, you know, leave it out of a toxic relationship you know i used to get aggravated at people you know especially when i see they got the power and the financial status to get the hell up out of that situation if you know if you're in a toxic situation and you know you can leave don't be giving excuses thinking that person's gonna change and I always tell people you cannot change anybody that don't want to be changed and it's not gonna it, you know if they really feel like they're worth being in a relationship with you and they see it's not working and they're not trying to change it that means that they're comfortable how they are you have to be able to have the strength to walk away and there's a lot of people i stopped talking to because they didn't do that i was like don't be in a situation like me when you're trying to leave and everything is just being locked down so you can't leave because there's a situation you need to know, learn within the situation you're in and it's just like you know when you're stuck in a certain situation it doesn't even have to be like in a you know a toxic relationship it could be like you're trying to move out of state and everything is like you, you know everything that you're trying to do is like locking down or blocking you from moving anywhere and you got to stay right there that's letting you know that situation has something to teach you and it's like well my situation is like i have to constantly have faith in myself no matter how dark this situation is no i have the courage to walk out and be stepping into my life with me and my situation is also also taught me that i have to have straight patience i'm a taurus <laughs> sun moon set on libra and leo you know with scorpio and uh capricorn on on top of all that we ain't got no patience and then we quit we bullheaded is i don't know what and we headstrong that's just too many things i'll be looking at my dad and i'm like what the hell were you thinking conjuring up something like that <laughs> i said what were you thinking and i'm like a female version of my dad like from when he was back in the day now it's just like my dad had that i don't give a damn attitude and he still had it you know before you know god you know placed him wherever he is in the spirit realm 
he still did it, but it's just like he just did it with his face. He didn't say it, but I, it was just like when I can, I read them faces. I'm just like, I'm just glad you're doing them looks and not actually speaking on what you're thinking, you know. So it's just like my situation has really taught me a lot that I have to love myself, you know. Starting this situation, I just wanted to be around people. Even though I care for them, they didn't care for me in that way. And now it's like this this situation has taught me if you can't respect me and love me how I deserve to be loved and I'm loving you and you can't love me the same way, I'm getting the hell up out of your face. Peace. You know, have a good one. I pray for you and hope that anything is like, you know, is better for you. You know, it taught me self-respect. You know, it taught me, like, if you want to be in a relationship, love yourself on all measures. Love yourself on all directions. You know, all that. You know, if somebody can't love you and respect you that way, you don't need to be in that situation. If they don't make my heart skip a beat, you don't need to be in that situation. So I'm still healing and stuff like that. And I'm okay with being by myself because I'd rather be by myself than be in a situation where I got a question where I sit in, in your life. So it's just like all these different things, you know. Where one one time I actually thought being in my toxic relationship was a waste of time. Heck no, it wasn't. Because it's just like anytime you would get into another relationship, it's not the fact is that you you're looking to see if they're gonna do it, but it's like when the red flags start popping up, you know exactly what to look for. That's why I tell anybody, if you're ever in a toxic relationship, don't ever feel like that relationship was a waste of time because that relationship teaches you a lot. It really does. And it's just trying to make sure when you're in that situation, you don't go ahead and fall for the same okie doke in the next situation. And it's just like you understand, you know, how to love yourself, respect yourself enough to put boundaries up as they, you know, you, you ask them what you want in a relationship, what they, what you need in a relationship, what you got bringing to the table, what you want them to bring to the table and all these different things. So it's just like, I even told my ex one time, I'm so glad I dealt with you. And if anybody else tried to play that mess on me, I already know exactly what to look for. I'm not going to allow nobody to control me. I'm not going to allow nobody to disrespect me and not know my worth. I know my worth. <laughs> if you don't feel like I'm worthy of you, hey, ain't no problem. You just show me who you truly are, and I'm going to go carry myself on in my, my own business. So it's just all the things that you are being placed in your life. It might be hella hot water. It might get work on your last deck on nerve. But allow this situation to teach you what you need to be taught so you can go on about your business. Because the more you're trying to rush that process, it's going to longer this situation going to keep you there. So allow yourself to learn what you need to learn and go about what the things you need to uh, do. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Please, you know, drop me a line and let me know if you, you know, you're struggling on certain situations. And no better days are coming for you. This just gives you that time to work on yourself a little bit more and allow yourself to let go of whatever is holding you back and is keeping you there. You have to really, when you start going through certain situations like that, you have to really see what are you doing for the fact of you still being in that situation. So I'm going to go ahead and give my post notification shout out to Bree Tree. Much love to you. I hope all is well. And, you know, welcome to the family. And, you know, um, like and subscribe. Drop me a line. Give me a thumbs up. Share. Subscribe. Hit that bell. And I'll see you on the next video. I hope everybody has a blessed week. And it's almost the weekend. I thought this week don't move fast. I can't believe we're almost close to the end of the month. That's what's crazy. But anyways, you know, have a blessed, safe week. You know, I hope you enjoy your, your Friday. Um, sound as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and for ever being blessed and i'm praying for y'all for better days i love you from the bottom of my heart and i hope you get everything you've been working so hard for and send out as much positivity as you possibly can because you never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way much love to you and i'll see you on my next video